All right, welcome everybody. Here we are again for some strength training. I'm very excited to have you today. Uh, let's get started with a little bit of warm up, just rotating. I'm on the beach in Australia. Mate. What's funny, you know, it's funny I have my brain thinks sometimes you mention Australia, it, it heads myself in one direction. I was thinking about uh, when I was younger, I wanted to be a veterinarian. I wanted to be a veterinarian and move to Australia because you got to hang out with all the kangaroos and all the fun animals, <clears throat> push across. But some of you may know my friend Lori, who I used to teach with. She actually was a vet tech. And I guess it's not all that fun of a job because you got to deal with all the bad stuff with animals, them being hurt and all that stuff. Reach across, spread the fingers. So I guess I'm glad I didn't go into that field. This is a lot more fun. Heel touch, comb your hair. But now here I am in Australia doing my own thing. In and out with the hands. The perfect background. Just how it fits and everything. This one's from Kira Bartlett. She takes wonderful photos. Reach up. And rotate. Roll the hips around. Other direction. And then you're just a tree in the wind. And then forward and back with the body. Don't lean back too far and don't go too far forward, but feel the stretch. Excellent. Roll your shoulders. So today we're gonna do strength, balance, and stretch, repeat. So strength, balance, stretch, repeat. So we'll find a strength exercise, a balance exercise, the other direction, and then we'll stretch it out. And we'll find a new strength exercise, and then a balance exercise, and then stretch it out. So let's go ahead and just start with squats. Sitting back like so. You can always do something different if you prefer to do the class seated or squats don't work for you. Make sure you really sit back with it. So we exhale as you go up, inhale as you go down. About four more. Excellent, and then we're just gonna go to a star pose. And other side. The balancing doesn't have to be too long. I would say average balancing on one leg is probably about 20 seconds. If you can't do it for five or 10 seconds, then you probably should be practicing more or making sure that you're conscious of where you're walking and all that stuff. All right, time to stretch it out. We're gonna put the foot forward and lean forward this way. You can also put the foot up if you're okay with that. Just don't fall or cause any issues. 
I like to put the foot up. It adds a little extra. You don't have to put it on the chair if you have a footstool or something. You can always put it up on that. Whatever you got. That's the nice thing about being at home. All right, other side. Excellent. Next one, we're going to do kicking to the side. Just the right leg first. And we'll do it about 12 times. That's three. All right, other side. Last two. Excellent. Here's your balance one. We'll go up to the balls of the feet. Now, people always make it easy by going right to the comfort zone. It makes it really easy. But what you do is you go up a little harder, a little higher, make it harder. And again, just hold for about five more seconds, not too long. Just enough to test the body a little bit. And relax. Good. And then we have our stretch. So we're going to put one leg back, coming to bow and arrow stance. And other side. Just think about breathing deep. Couple deep breaths here and there. Here and there. I should say a couple of deep breaths. Inhale for five seconds and then exhale for five seconds. Not just here and there. And relax. Let's go ahead and do hamstring curls now. So that's going to be the back of the legs. It's curling up. And what you do is you go down nice and slow. If you uh, are so, if you had some ankle weights, perfect time to throw those on. Last two, you start feeling it back here in the leg and then just switch sides so the other foot Three more. Excellent. All right, then our balance is going to be tree pose. So that's just this one where you put your turn your foot out. So you can start here. And then if you have impeccable balance, you can raise it up a little bit. You can always touch the floor if you need to. And again, if you can do this for 20 seconds, you're doing pretty good. So let's just try about 20 seconds. All right, good enough. And we got the other side. And relax. Start with just side to side for the stretch. Good, and then feet together, reach up and over. 
Take your hips this way and then your hand, your top hand the other way. And another side. Take a couple deep breaths in the side of your body. Okay. And then one more standing strength exercise. We're going to repeat again. Going up to the balls of the feet for strength this time. So you go up and then come down slowly. Now you might feel like you should inhale as you go up, but it's the opposite. Exhale as you go up, inhale down. Exhale, inhale. So try to go up pretty far. Pretend you got to get something up there on the, on the cupboards. Almost there, a couple more. And relax. The next balance one is gonna be a tandem balance. So you got one foot in front, one foot in back. If you wanna make this easier, you can always offset it, make your stance a little wider. Uh, and then if you wanna make it uh, harder, narrow it out. And we're gonna use the hands. You can also use just one hand, but, but look at the hand, make some circles with the hands and look at them as you go around. Just be careful. And then take it the other direction with the hands. Excellent. And then go ahead and switch feet. Other foot's in front. And whatever you prefer. If you want one hand, you can do that. If it's easy with two hands even, the next step is to look at the hands and then also see everything behind it. So you see I'm here in Australia. I can see the ocean behind my hands as I'm doing these circles. So I'm not only looking at the hands, but I'm also looking at the ocean behind it. That makes it harder to look at everything behind it as well. Other direction. So depends on where you're at with things. And relax. Excellent. So we got our stretch for that one. It's going to be the downward dog. So what rocks walk your feet back and walk your hips back. Taking some deep breaths. All right, back to center. Let's go ahead and have a seat. Uh, we're going to get out the band. Next. So let's do chest press behind the back of the band, pressing out. So remember what you'll do is get it up high underneath those, the underarm, choke up on the band, grab, pinch and grab. And we're gonna press it out. Exhale as you press out.
Last two. Excellent. All right. Relax for a second. So my strength balance stretch repeat plan just kind of saw a little glitch in it, the fact that we're sitting down. So, and we already did quite a bit of balance already. So now it's going to be the strength and more strength plan and then stretch at the end. Let's go ahead and press it out and together. Do about 15 of these. This is seven. Last two. Excellent. Let's move on to wrapping up the legs. So it's the strength balance stretch standing plan, and then move on to strength, 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 and then stretch plan. So let's wrap up the legs, have your legs wide and pressing out and in. Five more. Excellent. Then we move on to underneath the feet. We'll do a row, crossing the handles and rowing back. Try to keep a basic tempo. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. That's probably the most basic tempo for weight training. Uh, basically, you pull it back for two seconds and then lengthen the return phase, make it a little harder by short making it a little longer, taking your time. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. I need a metronome here, I know. Give me about five more. Excellent. All right, let's move on to feet going out and in. I'm just gonna have the handles kind of together there and out with the foot and then back in. And what you can do is step a little higher and over, like you're stepping up and over something. Just don't hurt your hip. Exhale as you go out. We got about four more here. Excellent. All right, take the band out of there over the shoulder, tricep press down. So put your hand through the back side, grab on the front, and press it straight down. So let's focus on the tempo a little bit. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. And press it down, relax.
Three more. Excellent. Get your weights out. We're going to do some bicep curls next. So I'm going to teach you four ways to bicep curl. There's four ways. We start with palms facing out. It's probably more than four ways, really, but four basic ways. So palm facing out is one of the basic ways of bicep curl. And again, you slow it down on that coming down phase. Otherwise, it's just easy. You just let gravity do the work. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. It makes a difference. You do work the muscles quite a bit more. Good. Let's go ahead and do some tricep kickbacks. Let those biceps rest for a minute. We'll come back to the second one, second kind that I was going to talk about. Kicking back. While we're doing this, you might try to think. If you can come up with the four basic bicep exercises, what would they be? See if you can come up with the four before we get through them all. About five more of these. Excellent. All right, the next bicep curl is going to be the hammer curl. So we had the one where the palms are facing out, this time the palms face in. Hammer curl, it looks like a hammer. Exhale up, inhale down, we'll start slowing it down more again. Actually go one at a time, that even makes it slower. Put the other one down. Before you pick the other one up. For some reason, this really gets it slowed down a little more. I think one arm likes to speed up the other personally. Good. Two more hammer curls. Two more on each side. All right, excellent. Then we go to tricep kickbacks. Back to just kickbacks. Let those biceps rest, work the triceps. Give it a hold on those muscles each time. Last two. And relax. Good, just kind of shake it out. Let the arms kind of swing a little bit. Relax for a second. Give those arms a rest. So we got two more types of bicep curls. Other direction. So the next one is just combine the two. So bicep curl with a twist. Well, I guess you're not really combining it. Coming vertical, the palm facing you. It's not quite a hammer curl. So curl and twist. Now what we're gonna do is, is alternate these. So this one's down and you're gonna go this one up and just alternate it. Almost there, let's do two more on each side. Excellent. And then the break for that, we're just gonna go ahead and march. 
We got one more bicep curl type. Think if you can remember what that might be, or at least what my four bicep curls are. Obviously, there's not just four types of bicep curls, it's just what somebody decides. It's pretty basic. All right, last one. The reverse curl. So you're here with your palms facing back. I like to have the elbows up slightly. I think that really kind of helps, but if that bothers your shoulders, that's okay. And you try to just move it still at the elbow, just like you were doing. And that's the reverse curl. It's gonna work more in the top part of the arm, the forearm. You're still working biceps. Do about eight more. And then we'll pretty much call it a day. We're going to do some stretching and, and be done. Four more. Excellent. Let's go ahead and set the weights down. And you ready for some stretching? Feel free to get a drink anytime throughout the session. You should drink water. Um, put your right leg out. And then we'll take a deep breath in and exhale. Just stretch it all out. Go a little further with it. Good, rotate your ankle. Other direction. And other leg out, deep breath in, exhale. Go a little further. Okay, rotate that ankle. Other direction. Okay, and then we're gonna face the side. One leg back, reach up, taking some deep breaths there. And then other side. Okay, and then we're gonna stretch the biceps. So you can go this way by pulling the hands down and kind of extending here, that kind of stretches, that's one way. Now, if you have a wall close by, what you can do, problem is my walls are all green screened out. See if I can make a wall. What you can do is put your hand on the wall and then turn away. And now, the, but the thing is, you want to put your hand flat and then turn away. And that really gets your bicep. That's another option. And let's do triceps. And other side. Good, nice job everybody. Let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths here. Inhale, reach up and exhale. One more deep breath, inhale and exhale. All right, excellent job, mate. We'll see you next time.